Okay, one other uh, quick thing here. Here's an NBC story about a, a case that's gotten some attention over the past few days. Um, a very important controversy having to do with uh, a cruise line. Let's watch a little bit of this. A mad dash for passengers to catch their cruise ship, triggering a seven-day ordeal. We've flown, it's actually seven countries we've been in in 48 hours. Jay and Jill Campbell and six other Norwegian cruise passengers were on a 21-day voyage up the coast of Africa. But last Wednesday, it all went wrong for the group after they left the ship for a private excursion to the African island country of Sao Tome and Principe, but didn't make it back by the 3 p.m. deadline. And the ship left without them, their passports handed to the local port agents. Even though the couple says the private tour operator notified the captain they were going to be late. And despite the Coast Guard's attempt to get them on the ship, which was still docked. We truly believe that, you know, although there's a set of rules uh, or policies that the ship may, may have followed, they follow those rules too rigidly. The passengers arranged to board again in Banjul, Gambia, traveling there on their own expense. But the cruise line says the ship couldn't dock due to weather. In a statement, Norwegian crews told NBC News, once the guests did not make it back to the ship, we worked with them and the local port agent to assist with obtaining the necessary visas for them to rejoin at the next available port. Noting the group was an hour late when the ship initially left without them. Still. So they're an hour late uh, to come back to the ship and the ship left without them. Uh, you know, unfortunately, this story is not nearly as uh, entertaining as I'd hoped because when I originally saw the headline, the original headline said something like that I, that I saw floating around on social media was that uh, passengers got left behind on an African island or, or something um, by a cruise ship. And so I immediately imagining, you know, Robinson Crusoe, a Castaway, Tom Hanks, like something like that. Uh, they, they've, been, they've been left there for years. They were just spotted by another, uh, you know, a Disney cruise that was coming by and they found them. And they were all bedraggled and long beards and everything. Um, that's not what happened at all. They just were, it was an inconvenience, basically. It was a relatively mild inconvenience that they went through uh, because they were an hour late to get back from their excursion. The, the, the ship just left them. Should the cruise line have left these people uh, there? You know, were, were, they, were they wrong for leaving them behind? Uh, it, no, they were not wrong. Yes, they should have been left. No, they were not wrong. Uh, you're an hour late. So you, this is just classic entitled attitude. You want you want the whole ship to stay to wait there for you. Not going to happen. Sports betting with Bet Online can be intriguing, even if you're not a diehard sports fan. Beyond traditional sports, Bet Online gives you the option to bet on political events, whether it's predicting the outcome of the presidential election, if Hunter Biden will serve jail time before 2025, or who will be the next Republican speaker. Political betting allows you to wager on real world events outside the realm of sports. If you're a diehard sports fan, Bet Online makes sporting sports betting more accessible and convenient than ever before. With just a few clicks, you can place bets on your favorite team or events from the comfort of your home. BetOnline prides themselves on their higher than average betting limits of up to $25,000. And you can increase your wagering amounts by contacting their player services desk by phone or email. So while you're watching your favorite team or the news on upcoming elections, why not spice things up with a friendly wager with BetOnline? Go to betonline.ag. To place your bets today, use promo code Walsh for a 50% instant deposit bonus of up to $1,000. That's betonline.ag and use promo code Walsh. BetOnline, the options are endless. But but first of all, so you deserve to get left behind for that. But you deserve to get left behind in the first place because you're going on a cruise to begin with. So that, that's your first mistake. Your first sin is to go on the cruise. I've been on one cruise in my life. I cannot imagine ever spending the money to go on another one. Um, and a cruise, if you've never been on one before, it's, it, it, it's something that, you know, brings out this very weird kind of despair that it's almost hard to describe. David Foster Wallace wrote about it in his uh, famous essay in the 90s after he went on a cruise. But it's this weird experience of being on this giant boat where you have people catering to you constantly, and everything is very structured. Um, but, but you know, there's a schedule, there's a dinner schedule, there's this, there's that, there's entertainment. You know, they're kind of like ferrying you along from one thing to the next. It's very structured, but it's also very opulent, and, and everyone is eating and drinking, and everybody is fat and old. Like you don't expect that before you go on a cruise. You, know, you don't know that until you get on the cruise. Like everyone here is really fat, and much fatter than I thought everybody would be. Um, and you're worried about the buoyancy of the ship even when you see the, the size of the passengers. People are a lot older than you think. 
and you're just floating along for no real reason. Um, you're not really going anywhere in particular. And then you look out at the vastness of the ocean and the, the, the indescribable depths of the, this giant, terrifying sea. And there's something about that juxtaposed with like a, a breakfast buffet filled with morbidly obese people that really causes you to contemplate the fragility and futility of life. Uh, or at least it did for me and David Foster Wallace. Uh, so there's the two of us at least. And, and, and I was on my honeymoon too. So, you know, not exactly the time for such ruminations, but that's the effect it had on me. And I, I emphasize the food and the fatness because um, if you've never been on a cruise, you don't realize, at least I didn't, that eating is the main thing. That's, that's the main activity that you do. That's you, you just eat and eat and eat. And then you dock in Jamaica or wherever and you waddle out there and you've been eating and it's, you're gross and it's, and it's humid and a bunch of Jamaicans try to sell you weed and you, you waddle over to a spot on the beach and you go in the water, you get stung by a jellyfish. And then you go to an excursion to some zip line place and uh, more Jamaicans try to sell you weed and trinkets, lots of trinkets they try to sell you. And you end up buying one of them for way too much money because they've pressured you into it. And uh, you get back on the ship and you eat some more and you contemplate your mortality some more. And then you get back to port and they give you the bill for the drinks. And it's like all the money that you were given as a gifts for your wedding you just spent on cocktails. So that's what happens. That's what happens to everyone. I'm not being specific. This is not me specifically talking about myself. It's what happens to everybody, uh, I'm quite sure. And anyway, so yeah, they deserve to get left behind. That's where that's headed. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.